What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we are going to go over how to clean and recharge your KNN filter. Before I continue with this video, I do have to mention this video is sponsored by KNN Filters themselves. All they did basically, full disclosure, is send me these products out. So huge, huge thank you to KNN Filters for sending this out. The best part of this is that you guys already know mostly all Evo owners run KNN Filters. So even though they send me those products, you guys know I'm a true supporter of KNN Filters. I'm literally running a KNN Filter right now on the Evo. Have always been ever since I, even before I went speed density, I've been running KNN filters. I still remember the ARC box. I'll put a picture here. I literally bought KNN filters for the ARC box. So I've always run KNN filters, but now huge thank you again to KNN filters for sending these products out and for making me part of their family. They literally sent me this cute note. You know, Christopher, welcome to the KNN family. We look forward to working with you and seeing your posts. Enjoy and be safe. KNN. So huge, huge thank you again to KNN. What we're going to be doing today is literally cleaning our old KNN filter. I'm going to be putting this new one on the car, but I wanted to show you guys how to clean and recharge your KNN filter because a lot of us, again, a lot of Evo owners have KNN filters and some of you guys might not even clean your KNN filters. These filters are literally meant to basically last you forever. You can reuse them, clean them, and reuse them, clean them, and reuse them. There's no reason to buy another filter. So that's what we are going to be going over today, which is pretty simple and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that I have my old Canon filter out, you can see how much dirt there is in this filter. And I'm gonna show you guys, it might seem clean, but look at all these black spots. These are all spots that are literally dirt and I can see little bugs in here in the filter and everything. So obviously my performance with this intake could decline a big amount. Now let me show you guys how my, this Canon filter that I currently had on the car came a year ago, maybe two years ago when I went speed density. And now look at that difference. Which is crazy, right? Like you will think that, I mean, I would literally think that my filter is super clean but now that I'm taking it out, you can see that it does need a recharge and it does need a clean. So what I'm hoping with this video is that you guys realize that your KNN filters do need to be clean. A lot of us Evo owners, I'm literally thinking of all my Evo friends and we all run KNN filters. So let's go ahead and clean this one. And the literally the end result is going to be cleaning this one and making it look just like this one. So let's go ahead and start you would need to get a recharge kit from KNN. they sell these in advance auto at AutoZone. You, you can even purchase this directly from KNN filters so what we do have is the power clean and the oil the air filter oil so the way this process is going to work is we are going to soak this filter from the outside where it's sucking air we're going to go ahead and spray it all, completely soak it, let it sit for a little bit, and then we're gonna get a low pressure hose, and we're going to hose it out from the inside, because you don't wanna push in the gunk, you wanna push it out, because this is obviously where the air is sucking in. So we'll get a, a low pressure hose, we'll put water inside, let it all come out. You're get, you guys are gonna see how much dirt there is in this filter, and I, I mean, it's gonna probably surprise me, because again, I really take care of my car. Once we let it dry completely, then we are going to go ahead and put the air filter oil on the filter itself. And this filter is going to be ready to use basically new again. I am going to go ahead and put this brand new one again, cause you guys know how I am. I'm a little bit crazy OCD. I want it to look brand new. So I am going to put this one, but I'm going to keep this one in this box. And whenever I have to change, I already have a clean one. And then I'll clean this one for track days, autocross and stuff like that. This is going to come in very handy. So, Let's go ahead and get started with this process. Alrighty, so for the first step, what we are going to do is we are going to spray the power clean, air filter cleaner from KNN onto the filter. We're literally gonna soak everything in, so. So.
It's a really big filter, so it's gonna take a lot of product probably. My finger's burning. <laughs> So now what we are going to do is we're going to grab our phone and we are going to set a 10 minute timer. You're going to let it soak for 10 minutes and then we're going to rinse it off. Alrighty, so now that we have let it soak for more than 10 minutes, you could already see some of the black gunk that's coming out. We are going to hose it out and literally hose it out with a low pressure hose and you wanna hose it out from the inside out. So I'm going to turn it like this. Look at how much black stuff is coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this and start hosing it out. And you guys are gonna see all the gunk that's gonna come out, look at that. And I know the floor doesn't do it justice. I wish my floor was white so you guys could see how much gunk is literally coming out. I'm gonna try to get everything until it doesn't come out black anymore. Once it stops coming out black, then you're good to go. So just hose it out as long as you want to. So now that I finished cleaning the filter, hose it down, I shaked it, try to remove as much water as I can naturally. I'm going to let it sit here until it dries completely. Just let it air dry, don't force it, don't do anything, don't use a heater or anything like that. Like literally just let it sit there, let it air dry. So I'm gonna let it sit there for maybe a couple of hours. While I do that, I am going to install the new K&N filter, which is this one, and we are going to go run some errands on the Evo, which should be fun. Gonna go ahead and install the K&N filter now, but before I do so, I wanted to show you guys that 20G goodness, oh my God. Still in love with this turbo and the way it sounds. Let's go ahead and install the K&N filter.
is so much fun. <clears throat> I just stepped into Advanced Auto Parts and I met these two workers there. I, I don't remember their names. I believe it was Francis and I forgot the other person's name. But somebody came in and they were like, yo, who's ever, whoever has the Evo outside that, it looks so clean. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then I met him and they're, they're Evo enthusiasts. Like their dream car is an Evo. And Francis specifically, I believe was his name, was telling me that, yo, all he could do is dream about owning an Evo, owning an Evo. And he seemed so passionate about it. Like, it reminded me of me when I was trying to own an Evo. Like, that was all I would talk about every single day at work, everywhere, to all of my friends. I would say, my dream car is an Evo. And I just wanted to come here and tell you guys, like, for some of you guys that are watching this video, and I don't even know if they're going to watch this video, like, you can accomplish that goal. Like, I accomplished that goal myself, and I couldn't believe, I didn't believe it was possible at first. Like, I was like, man, an Evo is... It's so expensive. It's so hard to earn, like, like to find one or anything like that. And I did that myself. So, like, I just wanted to come here and tell you guys that, like, I was in that specific spot three years ago, and it just makes me so much grateful, so much more grateful to see that, like, to see somebody that is literally in my same shoes that I was three years ago. And I just told him, like, yo, you're gonna own it. And he told me, I'm gonna let you know once I do get an Evo. I'm gonna let you know. So, if Francis, I believe, was his name again. I don't know if I'm getting this wrong. If you do get your Evo, let me know. Honestly, man, so humbling, so humbling. Like, I just remember myself wanting to get an Evo, and I just wanted to come here and tell you guys, like, bro, you could get an Evo, you could get anything you want in life. Just set your mind for it, work for it. Like, everything I have, I work for, and I've been able to build this Evo, like, how it is, just by working super hard. So I just wanted to come here, quick little message. Sorry to get sidetracked, but let's go ahead and continue with the Canon filter cleaning. Let's go ahead and get back home. Now that we have let this dry while we did all those errands i let this dry for i would say three to four hours honestly it's completely completely dry as you can see it's not it's no longer red how it used to be uh that means that it is obviously cleaned out and it needs to be it needs to have the air filter oil sprayed on the filter itself so the way you're going to do this is you're going to hold the spray can if you are going to use a spray can if not you can use the one that you squeeze on you're going to hold this three inches away from the filter and you're just going to spray in an even pattern, making sure that you spray the whole entire filter. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and if you see any empty spots where you see that it's kind of grayish the way it's looking right now, you could go ahead and spray a little bit more and then you're basically good to go. We'll let it sit and you can literally put this back on your car and you have yourself a perfect new filter for your car that's gonna work at its maximum potential and maximum performance. So let me go ahead and do this so you guys can see more or less how to do it and we can finish this video up. Cuts. 
couple here in the bottom. And that's it. We are all set. So now you could go ahead and grab, I'll grab one of these towels and clean up any residue on the plastic here. Gonna clean this side up, this side up as well. And I'm going to let this sit for like I said, 20, 10 minutes and then you are good to go. So this is exactly how you clean your can and filter and make it go back to basically brand new. As you guys can see, it literally looks like when I took it out the box for the first time, this is going to help your performance for a lot of my evil people. This is definitely gonna help a lot of my evil people out. I know so many evil friends and so many evil people that run the Canon filters on their evil. They probably haven't even cleaned their filter because again, we don't really, it's not that we don't drive the cars a lot, it's just we keep them in the garage, we keep them clean. Evos are kind of so rare that we don't think that these things are needed, but we drive our cars. We put them to the test, we put them in the track, and believe it or not, even my filter, you guys know that my car sits in the garage sometimes for a long period of time. My filter was disgusting. Like, look at the way it looks now. It looks red, it looks the way it should look. Look at this one that's basically new, looks red, looks the way it should look. If your Canon filter is looking grayish or black, you definitely, definitely need to recharge your filter and make sure that you clean your filter. So you can make sure that your Evil is getting the power it deserves and maximum performance above all, like always. So I really do hope this video was informative, that it helped any of you guys out on how to clean your Canon filter. I will see you guys next weekend. And again, huge shout out to Canon Filters for sponsoring this video and sending me some of these products out. It's awesome when a company like this supports you because you've literally been supporting them with all of your cars. So until next weekend, it is almost New Year's at this time that I'm gonna post this video. So happy New Year's to everybody. I wish everybody nothing but success. I hope everybody gets to achieve their goals. Work for what you want because you can literally achieve it. I'm telling you, like honestly, just sit down, put your head down and grind for what you want because you can make it happen. 2021, I hope it's much better for all of us because obviously 2020 was a little bit crappy, but make it the best you can. Happy New Year's. God bless you guys. I hope all of you guys have a great time and I'll see you guys next weekend. Like always, keep grinding. Take care.